Sharman Udhi, two days my dad took the development, histology and grass anatomy of the memory gland or breast. You can see this memory gland, it is present superficially under the skin. And under this gland, this, this location shows the presence of the fat. And this green line shows the fascia, which is known as the clavi pectoral fascia. This is the clavicle bone, and this fascia extends from the clavicle up to the pectoral region, so called the clavi pectoral fascia. Under this fascia, you can see this is a muscle called the pectoris major muscle. So, uh, 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 you can say that this uh, breast, uh, under the breast with muscle is present, pectoris major. Or you can also say that the pectoris major breast is present above the pectoris major muscle. So, or uh, pectoris major is present underlying the breast. So, it, uh, uh, first of all, the memory gland is modified sweat gland. This is a BCP. Modified sweat gland. And it is present in the superficial tissue. In pectoral region. In, uh, in the breast is present in pectoral region. The breast is present in both sexes but is more prominent in or well developed female. If this breast is developed well in male because of some hormonal problem called the kind of go ratio. This uh, definition is very important. So, in breast, fem in the female, the breast is uh, act as a reproductive organ to feed the fetus, also uh, to feed the baby. Now, this, this part shows the presence of axilla. This is the breast. This is nipple and around the nipple is called the areola and this extension of the breast towards the axilla is called the axillary tail of spans and this opening from through with this extension passes is called the foramen of linger. This is very important point. This is very important point. Okay, now we are going to discuss the extent of the breast memory gland. The, you should know the extent in both way, vertical and in horizontal way. In vertical position, the breast start from the, this is the second rib, up to the sixth rib. And in horizontal position, is, this is sternum and this is the lateral border of sternum so the breast extends from the lateral border of sternum to the mid this is axilla and this line red line indicates the mid axillary line up to the mid axillary line the extension vertical and horizontal both important head point as exam point of view so you should know the breast extension vertically and in horizontally now the breast is present in the deep muscles which are present behind the breast. You should know the name of these muscles. Especially this is the pectoris major which I have shown um, previously in cut section. And this is the serratus anterior and external oblique muscle which is muscle of the abdomen. So the, these three muscles are present behind the breast. Okay, the breast uh, is uh, this. You can see this is the and the important point. The breast is separated from the pectoral fascia by a retro memory space. This is the retro memory space which contains the a loose areolar tissue or fat. So this point is concerned regarding this diagram, which is with the, with the loose areolar tissue and the fat. Because of this fat or loose area tissue, the breast can move freely from up to down and side to side. Now the 
the structure of the breast is breast consist of skin stroma stroma is known as the connective tissue and the parenchyma which forms the mass of the gland which includes the internal structure the skin the skin show the nipple and areola you should know the level of the nipple presence of level at the fourth intercostal space this is very important and it contains smooth muscles the nerve fibers are it is very rich in nerve fibers because it is very sensitive and the areola areola is present around the nipple and it is more pigmented and it consists of modified sebaceous gland this is another important point modified sebaceous gland which secrete the oily secretion so the which prevent the breast to uh, becoming the dry and cracking the sebaceous gland you can see in this picture this this projections shows the presence of sebaceous gland and these projections are known as the montgomery tubercles these are the montgomery tubercles ye point jo likha hua hai nb wala sebaceous gland in areola in large during pregnancy and appear as a small elevation called the montgomery tubercles okay now the after skin we are discussing the stroma of the stroma mean connective tissue this is the skin and skin as you know the skin consist of two layer the dermis and epidermis the epidermis is the epithelium which is present outside and the from the dermis which is made up of the connective tissue you can see these green septals passing from the epidermis to the, to the clavicular fascia these this is stroma and these extensions are called the ligaments of upper which make the breast in erect position I mean prevent it from to down, falling downward or in a pendulous appearance the suspensory ligament of upper are they are arranged in radial directions and you can see these are the glands and these are the ducts ducts rectiferous duct so the these suspensory ligament they connect the dermis of the overlying skin to the clavicular fascia of the breast and it maine jo bataya it maintain the protuberance of the breast when age increases these connective tissue becomes weakened and the this breast will become pendulous in niche ki tarah hang kar de it becomes pendulous in old age okay and ye jo kya likha hua hai the fat form the most of the the breast is most of the consist of the fat ye ducts bhi hote hain but it one uh, iske beech mein jo space hai this is filled by the fat except this is the pc beneath the areola and the in the areola and nipple the fat will be absent this is the diagram ye jo maine piche yahan pe aapko ye gland dikhaya hai ye duct rectiferous duct rectiferous sinus ye sara iski opening ho rahi hai nipple mein okay this is agar hum isko enlarge karke dekhe so this is the structure of a lobe of the mammary gland how many lobes 15 to 20 it's mean each lobe has its own duct if the lobes are 15 to 20 it's mean the rectiferous duct are also 15 to 20 numbers this is the rectiferous duct this indicate the lobe one lobe and one breast consist of how many lobes 15 to 20 and ducts are which are known as known as the rectiferous duct this is rectiferous duct and this rectiferous duct when it opens into the nipple before its ending it has an dilatation known known as the rectiferous sinus rectiferous sinus this is the rectiferous duct which open in the nipple suppose yahan pe likha hua during milk ejection 
left station the this is the side for reservation reservation and reservoir of the milk curing lactation okay now the blood supply of the breast this is the artery which is known as the axillary artery and you can see these are the branches of the axillary artery axillary artery superior thoracic artery acromethoracic artery and lateral thoracic artery these are branches from the first and second part of the axillary artery so the you can divide the breast into four parts you can divide the breast into four parts with this you can in this diagram you can see we are dividing the breast in four part this is the upper lateral this is upper medial lower lateral and lower medial so the upper lateral part is supplied by these arteries superior thoracic acromethoracic and the lateral thoracic the medial part in upper and lower part the medial part is supplied by the branches here yeah, this presence of the internal thoracic artery which gives the perforating branches second third and fourth intercostal space so the medial part is supplied by the perforating branches of the internal thoracic artery the lateral lower part is supplied by the lateral branches of the posterior intercostal arteries posterior intercostal arteries intercostal spaces jo ribs ke beech mein hoti hain unke pe piche posteriorly hamare chest mein arteries hoti hain jinka naam hai posterior intercostal arteries ye aap padhoge thorax mein to unse lateral branches aa rahi hain iske lower lateral part ko supply karne ke liye to yahan pe ye sara likha hua hai the vein drainage wo hai which accompanies the arteries the veins are the axillary vein internal thoracic vein to be yahan pe kya axillary artery usme kya axillary vein the internal thoracic is uh, yahan pe kya thi internal thoracic artery ki perforating branches aa rahi thi to usme kya internal thoracic vein posterior intercostal vein yahan pe branches de rahi thi to uspe kya naam hai posterior intercostal veins yahan pe artery thi yahan pe the veins accompany the arteries नर्स सप्लाई आप इसको डिटेल में इतना नहीं करो बस इतना याद करो ड्राइव फ्राम सेकेंड टू सिक्स इंटरकोस्टल नर्स इंटरकोस्टल नर्स कमिंग फ्राम द इंटरकोस्टल स्पेसिस विच वी वी डिस्कस इन दी थॉरिक्स ठीक है थ्रू दी एंटीरियर एंड लेटर किडनीस ब्रांचेस के दौरान ये जब हम पढ़ेंगे तो बस इतना इस वक्त आपको याद हो कि नर्स और विच सप्लाई दी बेस्ट और ड्राइव फ्राम दी सेकेंड टू सिक्स इंटरकोस्टल नर्स इंटरकोस्टल स्पेसिस में हर स्पेस में नर्व होती है तो उसमें से ब्रांचेस इसको सप्लाई करने के लिए आती है ठीक है और हमें पता है कि सेंसरी नर्व्स हैं और ये निकुलर एरिया के पास होती हैं तो ये मिल्क को रिलीज करने में जब बेबी सेकेंड करता है तो उसमें हारमोन्स विच हारमोन्स प्ले रोल इन दी ब्रेस्ट फीडिंग इज नॉन इज दी प्रोलेक्टेड हार विच इज सिक्रेटेड बाई दी पिचुटरी के जब बेबी सेक करता है तो पिचुटरी ग्लैंड में स्टमुलेशन जाती है और वो हारमोन देता है प्रोलेक्टिन विच इंक्रीज द सिक्रेशन ऑफ दी मिल्क नाउ दी लिम्फेट्रिक डेनेज दी लिम्फेट्रिक डेनेज डिवाइडेड दी मोस्ट ऑफ दी ब्रेस्ट इज ड्रेन इन टू दिन दिस ग्रुप इज नॉन एज दी एक्सिलरी लिम्फ एक्सिलरी लिम्फ नोड्स आर डिवाइडेड इन फोर ग्रुप नंबर वन एंटीरियर ग्रुप This one is the anterior group. This one is the posterior group, lateral group, and central group. Another group, which is the separate group, known as the apical group, and supraclavicular lymph nodes, delta pectoral, pectoral delta mean deltoid and pectoral major के बीच में जो group बनता है, delta pectoral nodes. ठीक है? तो पहले तो ये नाम आने चाहिए. Axillary lymph nodes are arranged in four. groups anterior posterior lateral and central internal another nodes are, are the internal memory nodes to be of internal thoracic artery ki. and this is the supraclavicular nodes posterior intercostal nodes jo nerves ke sath jahan pe artery thi theek hai takriban uske naam se hi hai and this is the delta pectoral lymph nodes this is the apical which is also included in the axillary group so axillary group consists of 
five anterior, posterior, lateral, central, and apical. Okay. Now the ये सारा कुछ इसमें लिखा हुआ है.